Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers or WW Blue Plan. I get 34 points a day, um, so I'm just going to be taking you along my day with me, showing you breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Um, and I will start by sharing my breakfast. I just got done with a workout, so before this I had pre-workout, which ends up being zero points. I don't even bother putting it in the app, and I've had some water. Um, and then let me show you my breakfast. All right, guys, I'm trying something new for breakfast today. This is like a breakfast wrap and some strawberries. The strawberries, of course, are zero points on all plans. And then I used a Joseph's flatbread, which is one point for half of it. Um, and then I have inside two eggs, a slice of Velveeta cheese, and two sausage links. The sausage links are two points for two of them, and the Velveeta cheese is one point. So this is a four point wrap right here and then zero points for the strawberries, like I said. So this is a four point breakfast. It looks like it's gonna be super filling, so I'm super excited about trying this out. It may be a new staple for breakfast, and it seems like it would be really easy to take on the go too for work, so that's what I'm having for breakfast. All right guys, so before um, I hop in the shower, I'm going to start prepping dinner because it is gonna be a crock pot meal. We are going to do chicken and gravy in the crock pot and then uh, we are going to have that on top of the bonza pasta i wish i had like the penne or something um to use but i just have these ones here um this is chickpea pasta and so we're gonna cook this up later tonight but right now we need to get the chicken and the gravy going so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just pour it into my crock pot um probably about like a pound, pound and a half of chicken. Um, since it, there's only three of us, we don't need too much chicken. Then I'm gonna do one packet of brown gravy. If I would have had the chicken gravy packet, I would have used that, but this will work out just fine. Um, and then I'm gonna do, since my chicken is frozen, it's gonna produce a lot of liquid. I'm gonna do just a half of a cup of water to start. If I feel like it's too thick um, later on in the day, then I'll add some more water. But um, if your chicken is fresh and not frozen, then I would do probably somewhere between like a cup to a cup and a half of water. But I'm gonna do a half cup of water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it all in the crock pot. webinar at noon for work that I have to tune into so I want to just um, get my lunch done I'm feeling a little hungry too anyways and I was thinking about whether I should have a snack or just make my lunch early and I'm just gonna make my lunch early I'm going to make some nachos using fat-free cheddar cheese some nacho chips salsa I might put some chicken on there um, we'll see what we get into I will let you know how many points Right, guys the nachos just came out of the oven I just melted the cheese on top for a little bit and they're all nice and golden brown and crispy I'm gonna add some salsa on top and then instead of sour cream I'm gonna use some plain non-fat Greek yogurt this tastes very similar to sour cream but it's zero points I'm gonna do some jalapeno slices and a little bit of this Taco Bell hot sauce which is also zero points so the only point value is the chips and I have about five points of chips on here um, because of the fat free cheese that is zero points as well because I used under a fourth of a cup um, so that being said this is a five point lunch it's gonna be so good I'll show you what it looks like after it's all topped all 
All right, guys, I am feeling a little hungry. Um, I just finished my webinar, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little yogurt parfait kind of thing. I'm gonna use some non-fat Greek yogurt, about a cup of this for zero points. I'm gonna slice up some strawberries and put some blueberries on there as well. And then for a little crunch, I'm gonna use chocolate covered cherry granola from Safe and Fair. I will leave this link down below. I love this brand. Um, I'm going to use about a fourth a cup of this in just to top it. And then to make it a little sweet, since it is the non-fat yogurt, I'm going to use just a little drizzle of honey, about a point's worth. So I believe that this is going to be about like five or six points due to the granola in the honey. Um, I will put it on the screen and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, here's my finished snack. I used um, a little less than a fourth of a cup of the granola, which ended up being three points. And then the honey was one point for just a drizzle on there. Um, the rest of it is zero points. So this is um, a four point snack, super filling. Reporting live from the kitchen again, I want another snack. So I am having a chocolate rice cake and some peanut butter. This is four points. Cheers. All right, guys, it is almost dinner time. I've got the pasta on the stove behind me and the chicken and gravy is all done and I just tried it. It is so good and I love how simple it is. I'm gonna show you what I've got going on. It's the chicken and gravy. It looks so good. The perfect amount of liquid to go over our pasta. And again, this meal with the chickpea pasta is six points a serving and it'll serve four. So you should have one serving left over after the three of us eat for my lunch tomorrow for work so it works out perfect okay here's the finished product i'll plate it up so as you can see it makes a really decent amount of food um per serving and like i said it's only six points so it's pretty low in points for dinner it's super yummy and delicious um this is my husband's plate actually i already started eating and forgot to share it with you guys um but it's very very good all right guys, it is much later now and I am going to have some dessert. I am having a serving of the cookie or chocolate chip cookie dough halo top. Um, I love having these on hand for desserts. Um, it's three points for one serving, so I'm gonna have some of that. And then I'll, I think I have like six or seven points left for the day. Um, I might have like a little bit more than one serving of ice cream or I'll just like shock up the last points. Um, 34 points is kind of a lot, especially when you're eating lower point food. So sometimes I have some left over, um, but other days I don't. Like if I eat like things that are higher, like fat content, like peanut butter or avocado, things like that. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of low point meals today. So that left me with a lot of points. So I'm gonna treat myself with some ice cream. Thank you so much for watching this What I Eat in the Day. Hopefully you enjoyed and got some great meal ideas for you. Um, if you have any suggestions of Weight Watcher things that you love that are low points, please leave them down below. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.